In my previous video, I used Monte Carlo simulation to study the uncertainty. However, there is another different approach, so-called polynomial chaos expansion or PCE, that like Monte Carlo method is a technique used for studying uncertainty. Uh, in this study, I will explore uncertainty quantification using PCE. I will solve in very simple way by avoiding any complex detail the logistic growth equation. In the context of uncertainty quantification, there are typically two sources of uncertainties, namely aleatory uncertainties that arise from the inherent randomness or variability in a system or model, like weather models, and epistemic uncertainties, uh, which arise from lack of knowledge or incomplete information. Effective uncertainty quantification involves then naturally understanding and properly accounting for both types of uncertainties. Polynomial chaos expansion PCE, which is the topic of this video, is a technique in uncertainty quantification to approximate a model's output as a polynomial function of uncertain input parameters. The method is particularly useful for efficiently analyzing the propagation of uncertainty through the model with uncertain input. Let's uh, explore this in more details. The central idea behind polynomial chaos expansion is to express the uncertain quantity of interest as a polynomial series involving orthogonal polynomials. However, the key question here might be, what is actually uncertainty quantification? Uncertainty quantification, or UQ, refers to the process of assessing uncertainties in mathematical models, for example. UQ involves statistical, probabilistic, and computational methods to characterize uncertainties and their propagation. Uncertainties arise, uh, arise from different resources, such as uncertainty in the values of parameters used in models, uncertainty re related to the choice of model structure and equations, uncertainty in the data and boundary conditions used as inputs to models, uncertainty due to numerical approximations and discretization. This figure shows how the aleatory uncertainties are propagated in a model and how UQ can be done to assess the uncertainty of the model quantities using probabilistic method, which is shown by PDFs in this figure. Consider a straightforward one-dimensional scenario involving spatial dimension x and t and time dimension t. We aim to quantify the uncertainty propagation in our forward model f that is a function of time, 
space and uncertain Palmer theta. The key question, uh, question is how to bridge between the distribution of model response capital Y to distribution of uncertain parameter theta. Polynomial chaos expansion is a deterministic approach that we approximate F as a, a polynomial series involving orthogonal polynomials by N. The truncated series shown by F hat is trained by a fixed number of model results mainly to determine the polynomial unknown coefficients cn once these coefficients are calculated we replace the model by the pce and evaluate the polynomial series for different input samples this is why this the technique is efficient computationally before implementing the method on a simple ordinary differential equation, I show in table one the one-dimensional orthogonal polynomial basis functions that can be used in PC. In general, different types of orthogonal polynomials are used in PC depending on the probability distribution of the uncertain parameters. For example, Hermit polynomials are well suited for modeling systems with normally distributed uncertainties, and Legender polynomials are widely used for the uncertain parameters with uniform distribution. Uh, it is worth to mention here that there are several techniques to generate random numbers from these distributions as listed as well as the joint distributions between different parameters. The choice of technique depends on the characteristics of the joint distribution such as the, its dimensionality dependency between variables and the availability of closed form expressions for its uh, cumulative distribution function cfd cdf uh, just to name a few commonly used uh, techniques i would say uh, transformation method or inverse transformation sampling, Markov chain Monte Carlo, MCMC and Kapula based methods can be named. Okay, with this, let's jump right into the example. In this video, I quantify the uncertainty of the logistic growth model against its two uncertain parameters these r and k this model is used to describe the growth of population in biology and ecology it takes into account both exponential growth and limiting factor the logistic growth equation is shown by this nonlinear ordinary differential equation and uh, R, which is the intrinsic growth rate, has log normal distribution, and K, which is the current capacity of the environment, has uniform distribution. In this slide, I provide in detail different steps on how to solve this uncertainty problem for the PCE model. We have here two uncertain parameters, 
R and K with their given distributions. If we define the joint probability distribution function J joint PDF from these distributions, we would be able to create our expansion. Here we need to handle generating bivariate random numbers that might be non-trivial specifically when dimensionality grow there are transformation based models like Rosenblatt and other techniques that can handle the dependency between uncertain input parameters and in general sampling from joint PDF in an efficient way which I'm not going to explore in this video the next step is to sample from our constructed joint PDF and evaluate run our forward model at each of these sample points. This is then time to estimate the expansion coefficients based on the model results at each sample points. Now we are ready to estimate f hat. Here I solve the uh, first the logistic growth numerically in Python using ODE int module and uh, you can see how x evolve evolves in time in this figure. This step is important in order to obtain the train model xt to estimate the PCE expansion coefficients. But here, to help better understanding of the concept, uh, I provided a piece of Python code. The figure on the left hand side shows the joint PDF between R shown in horizontal axis and K in vertical axis. Blue dotted markers represent the scatter plot of one of the sample realization generated from the joint probability distribution function. Now we numerically solve the logistic growth equation at this generated random samples. And after selecting the number of terms in the PCE expansion, we fit the series with the generated samples. After this stage, we can derive different statistics from the estimated or fitted expansion. Furthermore, we can use this PC instead of running the original model for new uncertain parameters. Uh, note that the accuracy of the PCE approximation depends on the number of terms used in the expansion and the quality of the chosen orthogonal polynomials.